well, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've started doing some winter mods now. And actually today I'm working on the mighty ST. So this is D's ST. We're going to be upgrading the front brakes, changing the pads and painting the calipers. <laughs> Okay, you can see it is a little bit grubby underneath here. It doesn't look too bad, but obviously it's not been done for a while. We are changing obviously the discs over and the pads. So we're gonna give this a quick go over with the wire brush, try to make it a little bit better because I'm gonna paint them as well while I'm here. You can see all the dust coming off of it. Okay, so we have a bolt just here. Hopefully you can just see that in the video. If we go to the bottom, you can see a bolt just here. So those are the two we need to undo to get the caliper off. So this is a 13 mil. We'll get our, so these are definitely a 13. They're just a little bit crusty when no one's undone them for a while. So now we're on. Sure we're on undo. Bit of brute force. And there it comes. No problem at all. Same thing for the bottom one. That's it, she's on. Oh, I slipped off that time. Make sure it's obviously on fully because you don't want to round your bolts off. We're going to just stick a bit of WD-40 on it. And we're going to try using 13mm spanner because it's a lot of liable less to slip. I think it's coming loose. Just gonna move my camera out of the way because I'm gonna use a bit of trick. A bit of brute force of the leg. There we go. A bit more force with my leg. I've got to do what I'm doing. Some of our ratchet spanners decided to die, so we can go on with the normal ratchet now, and she's nice and loose. Just needed that little bit more force to break that thread. Okay, so that's our bottom caliper bolt out. Number one, number two, which is up here. This is then going to make the whole disc and uh, caliper loose. So we're just going to try to loosen off that caliper a little bit first, away from the disc, so we're not holding the whole thing up. Just undo the last bit of the caliper. So you can see the disc is moving. The disc is moving as well as the caliper because they are. There's nothing holding the disc on apart from the caliper. Almost at the last bit. And there we go. The final threads of the last bolt. Okay, now we can remove the caliper from the disc, hopefully. Get your leg there in the way. There we go. The disc off. Disc sacks aren't in that bad a condition, but then we'll change them out for upgrade. All I've done here really is I've put the cable tie to hold on to the spring to hold the caliper out of the way. We're popping the bonnet as we need to remove the brake reservoir cap. 
because obviously we're going to be pushing the piston back in a moment. We're going to just give the backing plate a bit of a going over with the wire brush. We want it to sit nice and flush. Just rotate it around. We're not after show quality. It's only going to, it's only a mating surface, but just want to make sure it mates properly. Some of this crusty off behind, I don't need to, but okay, so that's all nice and clean. Now, we're not gonna have the disc up yet, we're gonna sort out this piston, push the piston back, and get the um, new disc or new pads in. So, hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna remove the spring, which holds the front of the uh, part of the thing, it spring loads the caliper put it in a safe place obviously you don't want to lose that because you'd be screwed push the old pit pad, uh, old pad out and then learn to talk so now we're just going to push the piston back so we're going to put it on the back of the brake and on the brake pad and just roll that piston right back home it wants to go home So the reason that we put this cable tie up here is we're not making any damage to this flexi hosing otherwise because if it was hanging down we could damage it. The camera's recording. Yeah. So we're just unclipping this all now. We are gonna I'm just using a screwdriver to kind of lever it all out because these springs on these calipers can be really really strong it holds it all in obviously but it, it holds it in quite well now what I am going to do is you've got channels that the brake pads sit in over here I don't know if I can show you, hold on. you can see the channels that the brake pads sit in well they get all gunked up and crap as you can see inside there so I'm going to wire brush inside it but I'm also going to run these runners a bit so I'm just use a screwdriver and just try to get any crap that's left on off of the runners because we want the pads to sit well as well so the rear ones are a lot worse so what we need to do now is put a bit of copper grease on the back motion detected at your front okay. door only a little bit and then i put a little bit around the sliders as well all right just over the back of the pad to stop it making any noise okay Good to have a cloth near you just to wipe your hands off because obviously you don't want to get any copper grease on your pad. Right, so what we need to do, I'm going to show you this closer up, is you locate this spring inside the caliper. Now these can be really, really tight. Sometimes I use a pair of pliers inside here just to push them together so I can get it back, but we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so we're taking it off now just so we can see if we can locate this pad. So let's push our sliders back in. Bit of grease on the sliders, just down here to make sure that they're staying greased up and good. So we don't want them to fail. We'll move the pad out for a minute. I'm gonna push these sliders back. There we go, they're right back now. And now, we're going to try pushing this pad in like i said it kind of those springs are so strong and there we go that little bit of grease helps a lot to push it back in so that's totally located now that's fine now we need to get the other pad again a bit of copper grease Only a smear around it just to stop them making any noise okay and then obviously locate these in the front section nice and simple like that okay so we've got the pads in place we're gonna just sort the disc out now these are mtech cross drilled and grooved we need to give them a clean off that didn't work very well did it 
give them a clean off, get all the grease off of them. Because there's a grease that comes out of the factory, and you need to obviously get this off. Okay, do the other side, give them, make sure you give them a good clean off. You can see all the grease off of it on there. Now we're going to get the disc in place and then we'll start playing around the caliper a bit more. Okay, there's our disc on. Then we're going to try locating the caliper. We're going to locate the caliper. Make sure obviously you're not twisting your brake hoses or anything. Okay, so now you've located the caliper on the thing. You want to get your top bolt, find your threads on the top bolt. You will feel it. Once you get the threads, just do up a couple of little threads. Bottom bolt exactly the same thing. You know when you've got it, you'll feel it just thread in. Okay, obviously making sure you're threading these properly because you don't want to cross thread it. Now we'll do these two bolts back up. You'll notice that I haven't put the spring back on the caliper yet because I actually find it a lot easier to put the spring on after the caliper's back on. Okay, I haven't done it that too tight because I've got to do the bottom one and I want to make sure it goes in the right place. It's in the right place because it's threading in very freely. Right, now I'm happy that the bottom one's gone in properly and it's sitting correctly. I will tighten this one up and I'll go back and tighten the top one up. Okay, we're tight. It now the top one. Okay, right. So now all we need to do is put this spring back on. Now these can be a bit fiddly. I'll give you that. Get the spring on. Put it on at the bottom. There we go. Right. Now what we need to do is get it in this hole, and then we need to persuade this to go over here. So we need to persuade this to go over here. So hopefully with a pair of pliers. You should be able to grab hold of this spring and put it over like so. Then we just need to push the pins back in properly, make sure they're right in. So you can see this one's pushed out a little bit. If I show you closely, so let me show you closely here. So you can see that pin's not sticking out. Now it might be fine, but it could come out, and that's not something we want to do. We just get the screwdriver and just push on it quite hard, make sure we're happy with that. Okay, so now it's time to paint these discs up. I've put a tape on the disc so I don't get any paint on the disc. And you can see, obviously I've sanded all these down, smoothed them all off, and now I'm just putting the first layer of paint on. I will actually stick uh, two to three coats of paint on these, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is why you stick that tape on the disc, but so you don't get any paint on your new disc, which is obviously very useful. And now we've just got to stick the wheel back on, and then the job's complete. Well, let's get to it. Well, that's the brake job done in an ST150. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in another idiot in his garage.